ब्रॉड टू यू बाय एजिलस डायग्नोस्टिक्स हेल्थ टेस्ट की बात आती है तो मैं भरोसा करता हूँ इंडिया लार्जेस्ट डायग्नोस्टिक्स कंपनी एजिलस डायग्नोस्टिक्स खुद को टेस्ट करते रहो मिस्टर प्रेसिडेंट वी वेलकम योर लीडरशिप ऑन दिस क्रिटिकल क्वेश्चन we stand ready to wholeheartedly support you and the IGN co-chairs Kuwait and Austria in this endeavor of achieving equitable representation and increased membership of the UN Security Council we also take this opportunity to congratulate Kuwait and Austria on their reappointment mr president as we begin this year's deliberations we note that the reform of the UN Security Council was once again identified as a critical and immediate priority at the summit of the future discussions by our leaders however in spite of several decades of collective reiteration of this sentiment it is disheartening that we have had no results to show in this regard since 1965 when the council was last expanded in the non permanent category alone in our view we need to critically examine the following factors and the role they have played in undermining any progress on this matter first the nature of the process of the intergovernmental negotiations itself 16 years since its inception the ign remains largely confined to exchanging statements speaking at rather than with each other no negotiating text no time frame and no defined end goal second there is the argument pushed by a select few countries who favor the status quo of consensus they argue that even before we begin text based negotiations we must all agree on everything surely we cannot have a more extreme case of putting the cart before the horse third as a member of the global south we believe that representation stands as the unassailable prerequisite for both legitimacy and effectiveness of not just the council but the united nations as a whole younger multilateral frameworks have been much more adaptive and nimbler on their feet an example is the g20 which under india's presidency last year welcomed the african union as its member this is proof that with political will change is indeed possible the un turns 18 next year tasked with the responsibility for the maintenance of international peace and security the security council has too often find itself paralyzed by the geopolitical realities of today which have evolved far beyond the realm of that of 1945 in today's interconnected world mr president a more equitable council is very essential that sentiment was also clearly reflected in the pact for the future calling for representation of the underrepresented and unrepresented regions like africa latin america and the caribbean and asia the world of today is vastly different from the world of 1945 we cannot go on with the relics of the past for the demands of the future india has consistently championed a cooperative inclusive and consultative approach to international relations we firmly believe that the calls for reform multilateralism with security council reforms at its core is supported by the overwhelming majority of the membership while we seek real tangible progress in the ign including with regard to development of a new model of reform of the security council as a precursor to text based negotiations we urge caution on two counts first the search for a minimum threshold of input from member states should not lead to indeterminate period of waiting for them to present their model and second the development of a consolidated model based on convergences should not lead to a race to the bottom to trace the lowest common denominator convergences are not consensus there is every danger that the search for such a lowest common denominator might be used as a smoke screen to attempt a mere tinkering of the existing framework of the un security council and terming it as a major reform this would indefinitely postpone significant elements such as the expansion in the permanent category and addressing underrepresentation of asia africa latin america and the caribbean to a very distant future india is hopeful that the member states work constructively to ensure a concrete outcome on un security council reforms an outcome that respects the sentiments of the majority through the time tested manner of negotiations the legitimacy and credibility of the un must be preserved by updating it that indeed should be our resolution for the un's 80th anniversary thank you mr president